new drone launcher. Okay, so we're back in Simple Planes, and I am like through the third page of th of vehicles that you guys have made for me and tagged, uh, tagged my name on. It's it, there's a ton of stuff, like so much. Like, it's a ridiculous amount of things. And so, we're going to be trying to look at this. So, this is the Avenger 2 Drone Launcher by Pilot Mario. We were looking at Pilot Mario's stuff in the last episode. Uh, I think this is on his Avenger 2 tank. He says he stripped it of all the armaments, and he made it into a drone launcher. And so, to move, press 1 to activate the tank's engines. Y'all controls vehicles turning to launch the drone. Press 4 and move VTOL slider up to activate the stabilizers at each side of the tank. Press 2 to activate engine after throttling up and let the engine run at full power. 3 to deploy drone. Okay, so we'll press 1 to uh, actually move the vehicle. So there's, that's how we move it right there. And uh, y'all controls, vehicle's turning. Just not, there we go. Ah, oh, cool. It's actually pretty quick. Alright, so let's, let's throttle that down. Got a nice little stop there on the top. Um, okay, so that's that. And then press 4 to launch the drone. Wait, why does it say to launch and deploy at the same time? Okay, so th that must... L oh, I see. Okay, let me restart. So 4 is like activating it. And then 2 activates the engine. Like such. Oh, it's actually moving. And move VTOL up to stabilize it. Oh, I see. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then three to launch. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Ah, oh, that's really cool, man. Is there a chase view? Nope. That's as best as we got. Camera 3 of 3. That's really cool. Little drone launcher. That is so freaking clever. Wow, that's really cool. So, I love those ones that are a little, like, they take a, like, a bit to figure out, but you have to, like, activate different things to actually get it to... <gasps> no, pull up drone! <sighs> we failed. We failed. Um, yeah, that's like really cool. I love those ones that you take a lot of time to like actually move everything. Like I think like uh, Walrus had like that vehicle and then the Scud and like it was all combined and like it was like a multi-person project. It's really cool. And so that's kind of what this is. And I really like when uh, it kind of happens with uh, these different different vehicles like this. All right, next one. Uh, we have a land speeder. This is by Rund Rungenord. This is land speeder version 2.3 for NTAC. Uh, this land speeder can reach speeds up to 1,100 miles per hour before reaching the end of the runway. It can fully stop within the end of the runway at 750 if you retract the wheels. Controls, full throttle up and press 1 for launch. Uh, what? It's a detacher? Wow, take the headset off. I'm gonna blow my eardrums out. Holy crap. Um, unless I did something wrong, it didn't, it didn't reach 1100. Okay, I want to try the stopping thing. He says, uh, raise the gears at 750 to full stop. Oh, <laughs> probably, probably not if I don't lower the throttle down, huh? <laughs> Okay, well, it's pretty freaking sweet. I would love it. That thing could fly. That'd be so cool. Okay, so this is, since we're doing land vehicles, let's just continue on with that before we get into the plane stuff. This is the A2C1 RAV by Weymouth, and he says this is a drivable version of his previous prototype, A2 RAV. Uh, steering heavily inspired by the BM Oplot made by Dual Salger. <laughs> okay, one for forward gear. So, that's that. And then, if we hit 2 for backwards. Wait, really? Whoa, cool! 2 for backwards, that's really cool. 
And then, um... Oh no, stop! Stop! No, stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> oh no! Okay, uh, three is for the turret controls. Uh, activate and groove for turret rotation. For vertical aiming. Steering with yaw. Um, wait, didn't I, didn't I hit three? It's not letting me turn it. Do I need to be, do I need to be moving? Is it VTOL based? It's VTOL based. Okay, so it's VTOL based. Oh, it's gonna break. Four gives us vertical. Oh, four is already activated. Oh, I see. And so that goes down. So that goes up. Dude, that's cool. So if we go to air to ground, we have the 28 rocket pods. Oh, that's sweet. What's it look like from here? Oh, that is awesome. That's great. That's so cool. Wow, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. That's great. Okay, this is the Invertible Jet by Devastator Rexham two days ago. Uh, this jet has no right way up. You will find it looks and flies identical either way up. You can even land inverted. Because of what was required to do this, be very careful when putting a great deal of pitch input. This plane responds better to pulses of pitch input. If you do that, you'll find this plane is extremely maneuverable either way up. It will also go in water either way up as well, just for fun. Believe it or not, this jet can reach almost 1,200 miles per hour. Dude, that's really cool looking. Invertible. Invertible jet. Oh my gosh. It's extremely balanced. And look at the roll. It does that thing again. Where it's like perfect rolling. Pitches down a little bit. That looks so sweet. So but probably the only thing with it. Oh, it doesn't even have cockpit view. For good reason probably. Look at the thing. We just stalled it out doing that. But it can go in water. We're, we're inverted, I think, right now. Yeah, we are. There we go. It's a little tricky to kind of get used to. It even has guns. Going in water. Oh, it just, whenever you have something that can actually go in water, it kind of just will hit the ground and flip over until, oh, come on. There we go, there we go. Sweet. It actually does really well in water. This kind of looks like a like a Star Wars creation almost. Oh, we're the wrong way around. It's a little tricky to get used to being inverted like that. Come on. Can it take off from the water though? It's a little tricky to take off from the water. I don't know if I can. Dude, this thing's really cool nonetheless. I like it. All right, let's try it again from the water. There we go, we took off. Cool. That's really cool. And I don't even know what it's doing right now and why it started doing that. Maybe because I put the gears out? Whoa, this thing is trippy, man. Okay, okay, this thing is called 4 Antec. It's a big plane. It's, my, it's made by Entech is cool with a K. And uh, don't do loops, will blow up, auto take off, can't land. <laughs> oh, is it a VTOL? Okay, I see what's happening. Oh, wow. That's a really quick take off right there. Holy smokes. This thing is causing lag right now. It says don't do loops. So you know when you say... When you tell me not to do something, you know I gotta do it. Look at it. Oh no! What the heck is happening? I'm trying to break those wings. Look at them going through each other. Oh 
What the heck, man? Yeah, so I see why you say don't do loops. Because it freaks out on you. Well, how is this how is this thing even capable of flight? That's the question I want to know. And the other question is, what's it look like when it blows up? <laughs> look at like a million pieces flying back there. What the? That thing's crazy, man. Thank you for making that. That thing's nuts. Oh, this thing looks sweet. This is the F-20 Mini Raptor by Magic Shadow 101. A simple fighter that's easy to fly and hope you guys like it. And if you enjoy it, please give it an upvote. Thank you. Go check it out. He made this for myself and Weasel. Weasel and I. Weasel and I. I like the, I like the, uh, the chrome look to it. it. This thing is decked out with armament too. It takes off pretty quick. This is some, everything is better than the ones I've made. <laughs> I swear. Like everything is better. Do these detach? Nope. So we have uh, we got machine guns, we have air to airs, and we have air to grounds too. Where are the air to grounds at? Oh, in the pods in the front probably, huh? Yeah. Sweet. Get wrecked, I'll cat it. Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Ever since they changed the controls, it's definitely a lot. Certain ones are harder to fly on um, on keyboard and mouse, that's for sure. Yeah, I like the chrome. I, You know what's interesting is that like I would have never ch chosen this, this color scheme, but it actually looks really cool. Like, I, I don't, maybe I just really like this deep, dark purple right here. Even the MGs are purple. <laughs> it's so cool. And I think the coolest look is these missiles. The the chrome and then the blue and then the blue t and the purple t the purple stripes. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Really cool. Really cool. It flies quite well too. It's a little touchy rolling, but other than that, it's pretty nice. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. He said the mini inputs on that invertible plane and I was just like wailing on the inputs. Okay, dang it. Holy crap, there's a lot going on on this thing. This is the XB0025 by Effincoma757. This is for Entech only. Entech, this is my XB0025, which is an experimental diamond winged bomber with six horizontal stabilizers. After takeoff, tends to slightly tilt up. Has six bombs and 10 MGs. Bombs activate with one through six. Enjoy watching you. Your chosen target burn. Enjoy watching your chosen target burn. <laughs> uh, so this thing looks really interesting. How does this even work? The propellers are like offset a little bit, so they must. Oh, they were slightly behind each other. And then this is really cool in the back here. This thing looks crazy. I like prop based things. Diamond Wing Bomber. Takes off immediately. So then we got one through six. Oh yeah. Bombs away, baby. Ah, oh, those are are those mini booms. This thing actually flies really well. Well, your experimental aircraft is great, dude. It's compact too, which I think that's what I like most about this is that it's really compact. Oh, look at that. It looks sweet and fire like that. Yeah, it's compact. It's got a cool, like, design to it. It's got bombs, obviously. We all love bombs. And I like this tri-flat thing back here. This is really cool. And look at the look at the rotation. It's, it's that, it does that again. Is this just perfect? Are these just perfectly designed when they roll like that? Is that what that means? It's just, like, perfect design? Because the, uh... Center mass, center of thru uh, lift and thrust, it's not like it's, like I don't understand, how is this, how does this happen? Is there something in here that's allowing this to happen? I'm so confused by this. Oh, it's offset. I wonder if they're all, if all the ones that do that are offset like this. 
Hmm. The, I don't know. It's offset a little bit more than what you would think it would be. And look at where, like, the kind of the flaps hit. I don't know if it's the surface area size or, like, what the deal is. Because it's offset a little bit to where... Uh, well, maybe not. Maybe it's not offset. It's moving at the same time. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's like a perfect roll, though, and I don't understand how that's achieved. But I, but I really like it. And this thing looks sweet. You just need to drop off down here, though. And it's got MGs. But I, I just love the design of this thing. It's really cool. Okay, we have another really cool design. This is by Trip Mister, and this is called the Entacitator 2000 Turbo. <laughs> love it. Uh, for Antec, I'm sorry. I have no time to get guns, but I'm inspired by one aircraft I'm seeing in GTA 5 mod. So happy with this, but now I'll say this in the video. Uh... Triplex, hello, I'm sorry for VTOL copyright, but now I'm making an original thing as Gator. Please answer in video if it's good f for you. Uh, or, okay, or crap. You're giving me a second chance. Okay. Oh, did he make something like this before? Or did, did he, like, copy something? Oh, did, is this the guy who did the, uh, the crisis thing? If so, and you made an original design, props to you, man, because this looks sweet. It, so the design is really cool looking. Um, I think this must be the cr the guy who made that the crisis thing. But if you made this, uh, you know, it's pretty sweet, man. I don't know how how do the wheels work in the front there? What the heck? The flight is the control is pretty good. It turns quite well. The roll is the roll is pretty good too. How do you get? How are these wheels? How are these wheels working in the front here? <laughs> That's what I want to know. This is really cool though. The design is really sweet. Wait, how, wait. Let's restart this. Where are the wheels located? <laughs> They're on this thing, but when they lower, they just kind of, they just kind of float there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we broke it. Wait, is it, will this take off? No, we broke it. <laughs> we broke it. It's, it's dead. It's, it's busted. So, uh, yeah, this is interesting that the wheels will just float there like that. The ge gears just float. And these don't even hit. So, wait, what? I'm so confused by this design now that I'm looking at it closer. How? How? Like, there's a big gap there? I don't know, but it's cool looking either way. Like, what the heck, man? <laughs> uh, this is the Destroyer Drone Mark II, and it just started with the props going. I haven't even given any throttle or anything. Added feature, more weapons, six Infernal Missiles and two Boom 50s. Bigger props, now faster. This is for the 700 mile per hour prop challenge. Uh, this is made by Tully2001. It's based on... Hi, my name is Walrus's 700 mile per hour prop challenge. Oh, that just means that, like, it's for, like, that challenge. He tagged me in this thing, and, uh, maybe, have we looked at the Mark 1 already? Oh, how did that, how did that work out? How does that happen? Where you can just, the props just start on their own like that. Oh, there goes the, there go the freaking rockets. That's cool. This little thing is insane. Holy crap! Pull up, baby! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, what the crap? How is this happening? It's up already, on its own. How do we drop these bombs? Like, this thing is insanely fast! Can you imagine this little thing dropping bombs like in Al Qaeda? Al Qaeda territory? And Afghanistan nannies? <laughs> Afghanistan nannies? What is that from? Is that a uh, Frank Caliendo joke? <laughs> like where he makes fun of George Bush and the way he talks? In Af what is it? In Al Qaeda? In Al Qaeda? It's like it's, a, it's not a place. <laughs> In Afghanistan nannies? We gotta go get those Afghanistan nannies. 
Uh, what the heck? This thing's crazy. Oh, and that cam is sweet. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that was really close, man. Oh, God. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Something, bl something blew off. We lost our front props with the thing still flying. Whoa, this thing is sweet, man. Oh, no. I <laughs> went the wrong way. Oh, gosh. What the heck, man? Here we have the Entech Meteor Mark, uh, whatever. Entech, this is for you. The plane is very slow like Meteor. It's more maneuverable without the rockets and bombs. It's made by Meek Luciano. Luciano. It's tiny. It's a little tiny thing. I mean, you got a big old rocket down there, too. Here we go. He knows I like my, my rockets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rockets! That is so cool, man. Here we go. It's a... Wow, that big thing in the back. <laughs> what an interesting looking design. It, it goes, though. Look at it. What the heck? Whoa! Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Hey, hey, hey. hey. St level out here. Stabilize. Stabilize! Nope. That didn't work. Oh, this thing is weird, man. This is cool looking, though. It's an, it's definitely. I thought it was a lot bigger than this in the in the picture, but it's tiny. It's just a tiny little baby thing there. Oh, what's this? Boom! <laughs> uh, we need a nice big explosion in every video. And last but not least, we have the stealth the stealth gunner for Entech. One, two, three, two, one, one, two, three. Is based on Jundro's twin prop. <laughs> For Antec, hope you enjoy. The nose of this plane likes to tip down. Not a very maneuverable one. Hope you have fun. Well, you know, it looks freaking cool. I like this design up here in the top. It's got multiple... It's got, like, two levels of cockpits. I like the colors. I like the colors. The colors are cool. Alright, there we go. We're up. Not a very maneuverable plane, he says. And I don't know what the heck is happening. It's pretty quick. Starting off pretty quick. Maybe not. Alright, alright. I see what's happening. Don't do it. It's not too bad, dude. It's not too bad. Guys, thank you so much for watching Simple Planes today. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. You enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the...